Is that open? Do they still have a sign of the beef carver in Detroit? They can't be open. Why does that paint look new? When I tell you guys I have wanted to come to this place forever, it was founded the year I was born. Today we're finally doing it. Tanya's Home of the Stuffed Pizza. Not like a Chicago stuffed pizza. This thing, also, is it Tania's <laughs> or Tanya's? I've, ever, I've never heard someone say it out loud. My name is Tanya. The last video you saw the drone footage from downtown Detroit and me being in Metro Detroit and I said, bye, I'm leaving now and then I just got really excited about the weather and this city and I stayed a, a couple more hours for fun and also this pizza. Also recommending this place is Benny Holmes who you saw in the cooking video for the Cuban sandwich quiche and in very Detroit fashion, this pizzeria is inside of a liquor store or is the liquor store inside of the pizza place? Whoa. Yeah. Did I say that right? You did. Oh. Nice work. I mean, I'm impressed. I'll be There's honest. No I always it's shot. normally Eli or Ellie, but yeah, it's you. Yeah. Nice work. Sure, man. Appreciate you. All right. All right thank you. Thank you. Said my last name right on the first try. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I did not expect that to be ready so fast. I was gonna give the liquor store a look, but I know liquor. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, am I excited. Also, this impromptu video makes me even more amped, you know? The spontaneity of it all. The spontaneity of it all. Lift your lid. <laughs> I mean, it just looks weird. I get that. It's the crust of pizza twice. It smells buttery and garlicky. My oh my, what are you? 4.7 out of 5 on Google, 705 reviews, impressive. So 10 years ago, this exact pizza won a bunch of awards like in Detroit. It's the Royal Ochre, the little city within Metro Detroit that I picked this up in, that's Royal Oak. This is the Royal Ochre, you get it? Why am I so angry? Mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, ground beef, banana peppers, and onions. I am not normally, wow, wow, a ground beef guy on pizza but this won some awards. It smells so good, and honestly, it looks fantastic. I don't care what you say. Bottom, top. Are you a bottom, or are you? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> trying Tania's, Tanya's <laughs> Pizza and Royal Oak. <sighs> I did nothing. Working on a night move. To make some that wasn't even edited in Detroit. When you take a bite of really good pizza, Bob Seger just starts playing. Oh my God. Just take those old records on the You'd think this would be weird, I get that. It's very thin. It just absorbs in your mouth. And then it's got like the garlic and the butter. It's just a nice texture. I forgot to get ranch. Now I just gotta sit in this problem. I dig it. It keeps all the toppings just very pressed down. Now you don't lose anything. It's kind of like a pizza meets a papadilla meets a calzone meets, I don't know. Wow. I love it. I genuinely love it. Kind of went in with a lot of hype because of how much I know people adore this thing and I always thought it was so weird. You're so weird. My brother lives in Royal Oak. He's currently on the last few days before a professional bodybuilding show. He's in fantastic shape and he's working out three minutes from here. And this is what I'm doing for you guys. Now it's for my fat face. Dollar for that tangy red dead center on the dough. Oh yeah. Bro, I think you should take a look at, whoa! No! What? I'm gonna do two pieces. I wanna pop in and see him. It's so freaking good. It's so good, I'm so glad I tried this. I'm glad I stayed a few extra hours. It's got an incredible saltiness, like, but, in a balanced way. The onions are working great. You can go pick up your pizza and then snag a fifth of whiskey. <laughs> it's also alarming how many dispensaries there are now in Metro Detroit. Like they might be as prevalent as liquor stores now. You guys gotta try this. Seeing is believing. It's not that greasy either. Like it should be way greasier. It isn't. This pizza was $17.48. It was the 12 inch. That'll feed a few. <laughs> All right, let's go see Eric. 
what opposite days we're having. Eating that and iced coffee, what a combo. I cannot stress to you guys how excited I am for Eric's bodybuilding show. I'm driving back to Midland, Michigan in a few days to go watch his show. If you've been a long time watcher of the vlog, you've seen him compete. I went with my parents last time, a couple years ago, and now a new show. He slammed people around for years in professional wrestling. And now he's just getting absolutely ripped up, torn up, shredded for the stage. And he's in even better shape now. He's probably gonna be like fully, he's gonna have everything covered. <laughs> it's gonna be like just baggy sweats so he doesn't reveal anything, which is like a thing. But he's more than just a body, ladies. He's got a personality too. I already worked out today, so I don't, I don't need to feel bad about going to a gym in khakis. What up? Welcome to my house. <laughs> How are you? How you doing? Apparently it's leg day. He ended up making me do a few workouts, but I didn't I didn't film that. That'd be bad. <laughs> How you feeling about next weekend? Good, uh, just finished my last leg day. Fatiguing the muscle. I'm um, doing a little bit more of a pump workout today, so not going as heavy, a lot more volume, so it means more repetitions. But uh, yeah, it was a good workout. I'm glad Sean came. It helped pass by the time and I had someone to talk to. Because leg you know leg days can uh, <laughs> can always be a little difficult. I think so. even people that don't do a lot of working out know that leg day sounds pretty rough. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Five days till Midland. Five days till Midland, I would say at least two or three more workouts, nothing too crazy. Just get the blood and the muscle and uh, get these carbohydrates moved around once I start eating them later in the week. And be as full as a house for when I step on stage. Excited. See you in Midland. See you in Midland. Getting off on my exit in downtown Chicago. A quick little there and back. I'm excited to go to Midland and see Eric compete. It's gonna be fun, I'll take you guys with me for that as I do on the vlog, but I'm gonna call it there. Still can't get that pizza out of my mind. Uh, why would I? It's an anomaly. I appreciate you guys very much. New fun to come on the vlog very soon. The upside down pizza. <laughs> the Tanya's pizza up, the Tanya's pizza down. So glad to have finally done it. Be good to each other. I very badly want to have my place in Chicago, but I want to have like a little studio apartment in Detroit, like that I can come to more often and have like a home base and not crash on couches and air mattresses, you know? Like, what is the going rate to rent or buy, like, literally a 400 or 500 square foot plate? Like, does that exist? Let me know.